Alright. Time to figure out how we're gonna take care of some Castlevania nonsense. Mr. Belmont, thank you for sitting in on this meeting. Put the You're welcome. On high alert. Which Belmont yeah, are you supposed to be? Die, monster! I'm, I'm, you I'm don't the belong in this one! I'm the new Belmont on the block, the Jim Belmont. Here's the plan. Uh, my, 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 my name is Alphonse Belmont. My name is Ringo Belmont. If, 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 if a, kind of think of it, if a Actually, Belmont was put in the Sly universe, universe, what animal would he represent? Meanwhile, he would Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. What kills bats? Uh, what hunts bats? The castle and Maybe. Maybe. Bats? Hang on, let me... Bad mojo bot. Let me look up bats. Bats kill bats. Okay. <laughs> natural enemy of bat. The natural enemy of bat would be, uh, oh, of all things, a raccoon. Wait, 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 wait. It's like, what were you saying, Logan? I was saying, of all things, raccoons are one of the main predators of bats. <laughs> Well, looks like I'm looks like I'm perfectly fit. For although the you know, although you know what I, although you know what would be actually really cool and to see as like a game, kind of like from a gameplay perspective, would be uh, another one of the natural predators of bats are snakes. So imagine a snake that kind of like moves around on half of its body, like you know, like it, like it's only like only its stomach is actually touching the ground and its tail is the Belmont whip. <laughs> How oddly appropriate, considering the fact that well, Konami knows as a snake they have Belmonts too, and well. Put them all together, and you got this weird the fucking crossover. Really sort of yeah, <laughs> but would Konami really call for that at this time of day, at this time of country, this part of the kitchen? Um, localized entirely with it in this, this commentary. The kitchen. Yeah. Freeing trap ghosts sounds vaguely heroic. May I see it? No. No. Well, well, Sly, you are an odd fellow. But you cook up, so anyway. but you cook up a, you cook up a good steam, uh, hippo. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go inside. It's just this Murray ancient... laying on his stomach, like naked on a platter. Oh god! We're going inside this ancient Indiana Jones tomb. I got cranberry I sauce. Well. <laughs> oh jeez. Also, uh, also, I thought that was funny as he mentions like, wait, do I really want to go in here and beat up an old wolf priestess? Like she was an evil wolf priestess. Okay, that works. And apparently these guys were just freaking crucified with her, which is dark. Also, why are there a bunch of swords in the light pits? They're not uh, they're not forges, are they? They might have been. Oh, so. oh gosh, exploding spider. Oh lord. This is not good with my oh, little health. No, they're spider I need a bombs. Health power up. Who the hell puts a bunch of guards in here? Just Dude, they're not gonna pull the block when you're right in front of them. It's it's the thought that counts. Health. By the, by the way, Logan, I think you're. I think at this point you're supposed to just open up the tomb and they all just blow up. Yeah. I know, but I want. I was hoping he wants for health money. power ups. I was wanting health power ups. Oh god. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That, would've, yeah, that, that would've was basically that would have basically been screen nuke. It. Well, there you go. The ghosts. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. I kind of like the ghost. I kind of like the dumb ghost designs of Sly One better. Yeah. Well, honestly, oh, Sly one. One's ghosts kind of creep me out a little bit more than this. They make the weird honking noises and they're drooled and their eyes are all loopy and... And they're uh, purple! Where are the ghosts? So, we're literally Ghostbusters, Bentley. No, it's fatal. No, this is nothing like Ghostbusters. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's Fatal 3, guys. Oh, that's so right. This is actually Fatal 3. Hell, I yeah, never so we're even gonna played do... the series and I know that. <laughs> Except, fortunately, unlike Fatal Frame, we can see the ghosts without our camera. So we need to. So, well, and I always do my math right. Neela should. He's using psychology. We're basically going to spook Neela with a bunch of ghosts down her chimney. And we get to really. Oh, so we're going to be Jack Skellington, uh, taking the role of Sandy Claus. It's a ghosts. mixture of Jack. It's it's a mixture of Jack Skellington if he was a frat boy who was playing a prank on another frat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, no, it's a frat boy playing a prank on the sonority. I can't imagine Jack Skellington That's... as a frat boy. He, he ain't frat. Whenever I think of that, whenever if I, if I think of that, I think of alcohol. Whenever I think of Jack Skellington plus alcohol, I think of that one col actually very well done college humor short where they actually did use stop motion to do recreate if, what's this? If Jack only if, dude, if Jack if Jack Skellington was a huge if, 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 if Jack Skellington. Yeah, then he was on the If Jack Jack oh. Skellington was hugely on alcohol, he would have to change his name to Jack Daniels. <laughs> ah. Well, no, maybe that was his knock. original. Ah. Nuts. But yeah, no, the, but yeah. The video oh. that hype is the video that hype is alluding to is that there was a actually I think 
not not I did not agree with its humor all that much, but I did think it was very well. There we go. Oh, I, but I did. You got but I did think joke. it was. But I did that think works. it was very well emulated. Is they did stop motion to recreate the song "What's This," only if Jack Skellington had visited the land of St. Patrick's Day instead. Oh Jesus! I, I, Logan, I'm so terribly sorry for what I'm about to say. You managed to catch it before he got ahead. <laughs> well, that guy got go. just freaking free falling. Yeah, we gotta keep looking nope, around. Nope, to self. Well, sorry, Does that's another joke for the asylum. When he is in close proximity. Every our the asylum's booked. I know, right? Joke, joke, jokes end is practically booked full. It's like, where else are we gonna put these dead jokes? Also, also, actually, like real talk, hi. Yeah. Would you play a Sly Cooper game that ha Super Cooper game? Would you play a Sly Cooper game? That had like some of the level design from the Arkham games, and Batman and stuff. That would be an interesting experiment. I'm not gonna lie. I guess it really kind of depends on how well the gameplay. Like, when you say that, are you talking about in terms of like just the way the areas are structured, or are you talking about like even incorporating gameplay elements? Uh, I would say just more like the level design in terms of like how it's open, how it has. Oh, ah, run. <laughs> How it has like it's very open ended, but like there's a lot of like areas like mount and run around. I don't. I, I could not see Sly getting around with all of the big utility stuff. That gosh dang it. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Why wait? Why am I capturing this ghost? This one's already at the house. That's it's, it. Should be spooking. Now here's my question. We're taking pictures of the ghost and stuffing it down our chimney, right? Yeah. We're about to stuff it down her chimney right now. Oh. Who's to say and... we'll just phase through the chimney and fly out on its own accord? Well, because we're dropping a we're dropping a roll of camera film. Oh, so it looks they like just a popped out of the camera? Yep, and, and they released! Oh. Guess she's not a big fan of Halloween. There we go. She's spooked. So I mean, maybe more, she's just eh? a scaredy cat. Get it! Power. A few Get it, because that she's a cat, and cats are scared? Place. Oh god, she's, she's, gonna she's actually gonna hire some bombers. Oh no. <laughs> no, not red, not red, blue, black, well, Ah, blue's white. not- dude, dude, blue's not, not bubble gonna do anything. Not bubblehead bomber. He's Dude, Blue's always, Blue always sleeps on the job. That's true. He's a sleepy butt. And I can relate to him most so well. <laughs> That's it. I knew she'd have a bad Oh, th this mission here sucks. Huh? While you have this thing strapped to your it's back, you are practically tedious. a one hit point wonder. I'll need it to gather the runoff from these spouts. Wow. Sounds easy. Not really. Bad Bojo is a powerfully dark force. And meanwhile, just when you see Murray's head, all you hear in his mind is like, just all over the music. No, you just get the part. You just get the Cardinus build melt. See the exact same thing, actually. But yeah, just. Actually, what I was thinking was like. um um, I forget what the song was, but in Johnny's Adventure One review, where it does the zoom in on Big, and you just see the guy going, oh. Oh. Ah, I think that's exactly what we were thinking, but yeah, no. So at this point, you're going to collect the Mojo Grabber thing in the jig, and then that little statue up there is going to get going to uh, express uh, black magic onto the thing. While doing so, though, there's going to be a bunch of moves coming your way. So you're essentially doing. You're essentially going through an enemy gauntlet where you gotta use traps to your advantage, and this is probably the most fucked up thing the Slice Series has ever done. It's fucked up, but goddamn is it fun. Oh yeah, it's- like it's, tower defense, but it's, it's you so actually kill everything in nope. your path. It's so cathartic, but again, the only downside is that while the while your thing is loaded with black magic, you're essentially a one hit point wonder. If you take any bit of damage, you're pretty much KO'd on the spot. I mean, it explodes in your face. Yeah. Basically. It's very reactive, that black, that black magic. Nope! Well, no, like, it wouldn't be reactive, it would be more like... It'd be more like adding a... What's it? You add... It's like a chain reaction for adding a thing to a catalyst. Well, when you stop and think about it, though, like, we're... Like adding a fire to gasoline? Basically. Yes. Well, it also doesn't help too. Like, say if you crack the gas. One fourth. Super. We have to do this three more times, really. 
Yeah, you literally have to go all across this this entire map in order to find specific locations where you'll find more dark, uh, black, bad mojo. Do, 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 do. They really wanted to milk this kill everything in your path uh, gauntlet to its uh, full extent, didn't they? I guess, but I, I mean, I mean at the Why end of the day, I they do come up with some very creative lust. Basically. I mean, granted, considering how thirsty he gets for it, well, this is completely justified, Ooh. but it, even so, it's like... It's just, the only real tedious part is the fact that you, again, you can easily die in one hit if you let yourself, well, be vulnerable like that. So, just be beware of that. And, of course, these traps run on a cool, run on cooldown, so use it up. You gotta wait a bit before, before it, um, it reactivates. And some traps take longer to, um, to, um cool down than others. Hmm. And honestly, nice this mission is so tedious that Logan ended up uh, leaving out on us, the jerk. Well, I'm just thinking to myself. I was wondering um, why he wasn't talking. Like, I'm trying to draw a line in my head, and it's like... Ouch. I seriously have nothing to say about yeah. this. It's just, yeah. you know, I, I mean, killing enemies. You, You've pretty much seen it all at this point. It's like, I'm honestly just surprised that um, Logan didn't think about fast-forwarding the footage. It's called stress relief! <laughs> yeah, I know. You you get you get, you get get your kinks off of this torture board. What are it's I, more what are like New Age have, meditation! You're really sly and I have mine. <laughs> I wonder if you, I wonder if Bentley's one of those few few creatures of the most recent SpongeBob seasons. It's just for how much they 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 gruesomely torture Squidward for no reason whatsoever. That's right, Squidward. Get that tongue stopped. Nothing to say about uh, tearing off his toenail. Ugh. That is still one of the most gruesome things I've ever seen in that entire show. It was completely yeah. undeserved. And not to mention, why did he ever have a toenail in the first place to tear off? It's yeah. technical. He has no. He has no. Toenail. Moving on to the third he has no toes. He has tentacles. Right. I mean, unless we live in a cruel alternate universe where squids suddenly have nails on their tentacles, which in itself seems kind of restrictive. And very fucking itchy. So let's see what this one is. I do believe this one. Uh. Okay, so we're. I think this is where we're just using th flamethrowers now. So we're incinerating them. Basically, burn, motherfuckers, burn. Okay, so here's the question. Uh, can you attack oh! them on your own? You can, but even it then, doesn't it's, do it's as more... much one-hit kill damage. Yeah, it doesn't one-hit kill. Because again, Bentley's the weakest of them. And well, at the very least, Logan's doing the smart thing and using bombs just in case. But oh god, nearly got Nick there. Yeah. You know, at some point, I Logan really should have edited... Throw. At some point, Logan really ought to edit in the uh, Salmon Run music. I know, right? This yeah. is, that's essentially what this is. It's, a, it's Salmon Run with wolves. Uh... Lycan Run. <laughs> Lycan Run. Lycan Run? Oh, oh, hello. Video okay. pitch. Oh, the this video is being corrupted with bad mojo. Logan, what have you done? <laughs> Why'd you have to Oh, that's right. I almost forgot about the poison gas. Oops. Yep. That's gas. Rated E for everyone. Um. Everyone but me. I put them to sleep and let them never wake up. <laughs> that's my motto. Doesn't Ouch. really roll off the tongue, however. Bentley, how many of those horror movies have you been watching? 17 this week. Why? I can only imagine what his body count is by this point. Like, at this point in time, like, as we already had these time, man. Yeah. Yo, Bentley, how there many we go. disorders have we gotten this week? Boom. About 36. Have you ever considered how many casualties that we cause in our line of work? Oh, I'm sorry, did you say something? <laughs> I was just in the middle of eye gouging Murray. It hurts. I hey Bentley, any... have you ever considered <laughs> taking up a hobby? <laughs> Logan, this is all your fault, by the way. Okay, we're at the final one now. This one's oh, honestly boy, it... not too Wait, bad. Wait, is this the one with the yeah. Kraken? Uh, I think it is. Yes. 
Oh boy. I honestly forgot there was actually something involved in the crack gun. This feels like the most fucked up game of Frogger I've ever seen. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Except you're like the crocodile, the traffic, and the lily pads all at once. Yeah, but again, I'm just grateful that this is the last one, because, well, this mission's already kind of stretched out long enough as it is. It's just filling up your, uh, your uh, canister of that delicious satanic energy. Aren't you guys happy you know that I'm what? here to give you guys some pointers on this game? Because otherwise, this would have been a very awkward predicament. Mm-hmm. You know what? I uh -oh. get the feeling that... If I'm right, I'm totally... Oh, that's to right. I'm... I get the feeling Logan is purposely being quiet right here. I wouldn't be surprised like, if that's the case. As soon as we end this mission, he's going to start talking again. Hey, remember he... the time where Logan uh, spearheaded all these commentaries just to uh, help us keep entertained? Like, he was yeah. the man. He the was man the man with the plan. He was the sly man. Sly raccoon dude. Okay, we're, we're done now. Hey, are we? Christ. There we are. Yep, okay, the so what been do done. we do with the satanic energy? We keep it, we keep it stored in for later. And I just imagine once you bring it back to in our cocktails. Oh god. Can I give props where uh, credit is due, though? Wow. I'm surprised oh, that Logan this, didn't have to this. use the. Um, nope. I'm surprised this that Logan didn't have to use the uh, Kraken. I yeah, we might have been. I, now that I think about it, I don't think that there even is a Kraken in this chapter, let alone in the game. But I could be wrong. Well, no. But, uh, I remember I as like a last resort, wait, but, you'd be able to summon like a bunch of. You're talking about the stuff. third game. I don't Am I? Yeah, the third game during the pirate area. That's right. You there, you did have the boss fight with the Kraken. Huh. Maybe it was just sewer me. <laughs> and eventually, the Kraken helps you. Yeah. Because you didn't want any more, want any more of that beat down from a panda. Spoiler warnings. So yeah, now we gotta kidnap a, kidnap a general, a bat general who's blind. Mm -hmm. And our right like old that man. You can actually because of how durable he is, you can also use him as a projectile, and I love Murray's just blunt reaction of, Wow, that's handy. Unfortunately, <laughs> right. while he's yipping and yapping while we carry him around, uh, the popo's on our tail. It'll attract people. Yeah, the, he, his, his, his German bickerings will caught, will caught, will alert the guards, so be on your, be on your, uh, be on your guard. Can he get caught in the crossfire, though? Uh, I don't think, no, no matter what happens, the general can't get killed. Oh, he maybe can't? You can yeah. so you can just maybe throw him can... in the pond? I think you could, you can't technically throw him in the pond, and that'll probably end him. But, oh. otherwise, no, he's completely indestructible. No, Actually, I, I think Bentley no, 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 already no. said that he's invulnerable to anything, Every, he's invulnerable to everything except fire and water. No, you know what would be funny in this case, though? Um... If you oh, throw no. the general into the water, and all of a sudden he pops out, like running in place, like in midair, uh, while Crocodile Batley, just what are you doing with that feather? Down. Batley, no, no. Oh, boy. Great. Now you got the da. Now you got the da fish just talking. Talk, you scoundrel. How do you say I can't speak English in German? I have nothing to say right now. Yeah, that happened. What did we do? We literally tickle tortured a general into giving out giving out the getting out the juicy strats. Is this an but, actual um, video game? Is it real life? Maybe it's fantasy. Who knows? On that note, ladies and gentlemen, since Logan's not here to end off, I'll just go ahead and say, uh, see you guys for the next part. Am I a Bentley? Bye. There you oh, are, you devil thing. Uh.